Part 2, Sketchable. Another way to come up with a project shape that you want to have for your segmented project. This time we'll operate it from the main dialog. Its menu bar is virtually identical to what the layer tuner has in it. So go to Sketchable. And there's a number of figures that come with the program that you can use as starting shapes and you can create new ones yourself. So we can scan our way through the, the list of things that I have and these are candidates for starting a project. We'll start with this one. Well that's not the one I said I was going to use. Use that one. The whole idea with it, with Sketchable is a quick and dirty, top level kind of manipulation of a project. I have these sliders on the right side here. One at the bottom, one at the top. The bottom one operates on the bottom of the project. Top one, of course, operates on the top of the project. Or I could put in, make three sliders, and wouldn't you know it, this one works on the center of the project. You can put up to nine of those sliders on here. I've never used more than four. Now over here in the middle right, I have another control on the overall shape. And let's make her a little bit broader like that. Show you what it does here. Slide the vertical slider on the right hand side, we can move where the maximum diameter point of the project lies. This works better with fewer data points. And then the horizontal slider, it's kind of like the, the center slider bar. So you can use those to adjust the shape that you started with into the shape you want to use for your actual project. Now if you can't get it to work with those controls you can always go to the uh, to a sketch pad and I'm going to delete that point and I'm going to delete that point. I'll delete one of those two points. Delete that one one of those two. That's a little bit better. There we got a little bit better looking project. Probably this will behave better now. Yes it does. Again we can invert the picture. It's not the greatest inversion sometimes. I'm not quite sure why. And once you've gotten your project to the final place you want it, then we're back to project creation again with the outer diameter and the height as the program th currently thinks you're going to make it. You can adjust those. Adjust the diameter, the height will change with it. Adjust the height, the diameter will change with it. Or remove the constraint and change either or both of them independently. Set the height of the layers for the project. Set the number of sides you want in the layers. I'll make 16. Generate the project. We'll call it new 2. Save it. And when we close the di dialog, the main screen opens that project that we just created. Now let me go back to Sketchable just briefly to show you one more thing. And that is the report function which I will run off to PDF file so you can actually see it. <clears throat> this is set out in station positions. 
which agree with the height of the layers that you're going to make in the project. It gives you the outer diameter and the inner diameter at each one of those station points. So you can actually use this for any lathe turning project, whether it be segmented or not. Same reports available from the shape from shape of bowl. So here we have another shape that we've created. Wonder what we'll do next.